Tonight on Hopped Up Beer Review, we are bringing sexy back from Aslan Beer Company out of Alexandria, Virginia. Thanks for joining us. Hey everybody, welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, the show where we give you our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and reviewing. Appreciate you checking out this video. I've got Andy in the attic. I've got Jay. I am Ben. Gentlemen, what, what are we doing today? We're bringing sexy back. Exactly. Aslan Beer Company. And you'd think that it was Ben that got the beer. <laughs> I didn't. I did not grab this one. But I'm excited to be opening it. They distribute down to my area. So we have another one in inventory that's coming up that you will absolutely love, Ben. Uh, I told you guys about it. The Volcano Sauce. Uh, they're sour. Yep. Uh I actually saw it and had it not too long back in a 19 point, what is that? 19.2 ounce or 19.4 ounce, the big can they do, but it was called super volcano sauce and the regular volcano sauce is like six and a half, but the super is nine. Gotcha. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. It's a fancy glass, Andy. I know. It's a, Father's Day gift. Got some new glassware. That was a very nice gift. Giving a test drive. That's and nice. also debuting Father's Day gift. Look at, <laughs> that. Look at that. How about nice. it? I'm official. You'll have your own line of clothing here before too long. Maybe put this on Zazzle. Yeah, we might have to. Or, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll design something that Andy's in the attic with an arrow pointing up or something like that. I don't know. Get on it. It's so. Marketing on it. It says it's an American IPA, India Pale Ale. But, man, it's got a little... Drinks more like a New England style. It's a little juicy. Yeah, it is. Got a great color, a little bit. Yeah, it has. It uses mosaic hops. I scoured their website. They uh, didn't. They did. They did not put a lot of information about themselves uh, or the beer. But for those who may not know, bringing sexy back is um, a song by Justin Timberlake, and you know this is just a play on that. Uh, 6.4%. That's all about the beer, the Mosaic Ops, JT, American IPA. Maybe maybe JT had a little too many bringing sexy back uh, recently to get that DUI. Tisk, tisk. Yeah. That is in the news as we're recording this, isn't it? Maybe we should tag him on. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> when we post it. Great idea. Instagram. We need... Uh, fast, you know, rapid production of this one, Ben. Yeah, gather his yeah, yeah, uh, to, likes and hits. And... Tell him to lock up his girl because Ben is looking like a cookie. Look at him. Uh, <laughs> Aslan Beer Company out of Alexandria, Virginia. Um, it's a regional brewery started in 2015 by a couple guys who married a daughter. Each of them married a daughter, not the same daughter. A daughter from the Aslan family, hence Aslan Beer Company. They both had interests in craft beer and home brewing. And um, yeah, the wives got them uh, into uh, more of the home brewing. They originally started in Herndon, Virginia, but then moved uh, to Alexandria. I'm not sure where Herndon is. I think that's a DC. They're about DC suburbs. Suburb. Yeah. yeah. They also have locations in Virginia Beach, D.C., and Pittsburgh. 
and they've got pretty good distribution like i was saying they're they're down in uh north alabama yeah that's where i picked it up in, in up city in birmingham mm-hmm. so i saw quite a few aslan there actually yep there's a, a good selection of it here um at least one or two shelves on that uh at one of the bottle shops i go to and you're going to be, uh, and you, you added a couple to the inventory I was looking through today. I know I added the volcano sauce that we talked about. Okay. I don't know. I might. Oh yeah, there is another one. The, uh, it's either the starfish or the double starfish, orange starfish. It, orange starfish. That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. I remember reading about on their site. I think orange starfish was their, that's their flagship that's the big yeah. one that they made and yeah, actually they the made it, I gotten it for a wedding but they it went by a different name uh they brewed it for one of their weddings or something like that and uh huge hit and so that's when they uh put it out mainstream and i can't remember when we do that beer i'll, I'll find out what the original name was all right yeah. has anybody had this one I've intentionally held off from buying it because I knew it was in our inventory. No, I would have bought it otherwise. Gotcha. Andy, uh, you, you don't have this no. one, huh? No. Oh. All right. And I know you haven't. I have not, no. But I'll, mm-hmm. I'll go first. I'll go first. Um, something you said, Andy, struck me in the beginning. You, you said it, it's kind of hinting towards that New England uh, style, which I I definitely agree with. I think it sits kind of in the middle somewhat. I mean, it has a little bit of haze, just enough to make you think about it, I think, as you mentioned. Um, But it's not, you know, it's not full haze. And it's it, it, I think I can get the American style out of there too, if I, you know, if I search for it. Overall, I think this one is okay. I mean, again, not being the IPA guy, this is one that is just kind of mediocre to me uh, overall. Um, I think that uh, it's it's a bit muted in the flavors for me. It's, I mean, again, it's it's okay. I don't, I just don't get a lot out of it personally. So, um, I, I'm going to give this one a, a six and a half. I think it's it's okay. But thanks, thanks for uh, sharing it with us. Figured you'd ham it up a little more. I'll, uh, I hammed up the yeah. intro, so you know. Ben, are we drinking the same beer? I, I mean, mean <laughs> this beer. This is it? I, I know. I, I'm, I'm being facetious, but I think Ben's got COVID again. Can't taste anything. Yeah, I, I mean, this is a very juicy, flavorful beer. Uh, it might be a little white or a little thin, if you will, but. Uh, to me, I, I think it's full of flavor. Uh, I love the the way they've done the mosaic on this. Uh, I, it's refreshing to me. Uh, it's almost one that if it was a little lower ABV, it would be in the crushable category. Um, I really like it. Um, I think I was going to go as high as an eight on this one. So... A little bit of the opposite of you. And I understand not being the IPA guy, but this one's not extremely bitter. It's not. So. I think the, the issue that I have for me, what I get out of it is it's just kind of flat. I don't get a lot of a lot of the flavor, a lot of the punch, if you will, that you know I like with an IPA. So you know, it's okay. it almost has a little bit of a lemony flavor to it. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I can I can see that for sure. So, so I'll leave it to we'll Andy, Andy to settle the debate. <laughs> I'm on Team J on this one. This is, and I think, what are you drinking? Uh, it's this is again. <laughs> it's almost it's not drank your, at all. <laughs> yeah, it's not your typical um, American IPA as it's been labeled. It really drinks like a like a juicy because it, it does have that fruity juiciness to it. And yeah, Jay, I'm picking up that kind of lemony, almost like a nectarine type of flavor to it. Uh, citrus, mild citrus notes. Very cr- crushable. 
but I could, you could tell it's not like a full on session. Um, got a, a little heavy, a mild heaviness, uh, for the, for the juiciness on the, on the palate there. I'm going to agree with Jay an 8.0. It's a really fun beer. Mm-hmm. Ben's wrong. <laughs> Is this where I do a little dance? This is the part of the show. That's going to be a 7.5 for the Bringing Sexy Back from Aslan Beer Company. Um, Definitely one we obviously disagree on. And uh, if you've had it, weigh in. uh, Let us know what you think about it. Who's right? Who's wrong? Um, You know, we'd love to hear from you on that. You can do so down in the comments. You can also check out all of our social media links down below including our Hopped Up Beer Review Discord server where we chat about beer and other things. So we would love to have you in the uh, come join us with the others who are already there. Uh, lastly, be sure to like, subscribe, cheers, that notification bell. Uh, we would love that feedback and appreciate that as well. And lastly, part two, if you have any interest in any Hopped Up Beer Review merch, uh, we've got a link for that down below. Check it out and grab something. Um, The Andy in the Attic shirts, I'm sure, will be there soon if you want to get you one of those uh, or something similar. So that is definitely cool. Great Father's Day. Kudos to the fam there on the the Father's Day gifts you got there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Glassware. I think there's about four or five glasses. Funky style. Really flared out tops. You'll see more. Yeah, we may put a link down below for those as well, just in case you want to check them out. Put a link to Amazon or something um down in the description uh so check those out too if you have any interest in seeing what those are i'm just drinking out of a pint glass so not especially um all right i guess that's all we got for andy in the attic and jay i am ben appreciate you guys checking out this video cheers mates cheers Cheers, mates. mates